as a defensive line all throughout the game on Saturday? Uh, I feel like we went out there and definitely missed some plays. That was a big thing heading into the game was for the D-line and the defense as a whole to be able to stop their run game and be more physical. And I feel like we went out there and did that. How equipped is Tulane up front against you guys? Yeah, they got a they have a good group of guys um, and a good coaching staff as well. And it's going to be a, an interesting environment, a hot place. But it's something that we've talked about the whole summer and that we're ready for. And we got a whole week of work to to come in and train and, and be ready for that environment come Saturday. Does, does playing that head coach's team last year kind of help this year at all? Um, a little bit. It just... That's a good question. Um, I mean, I'm not really sure about that. It's it's more just kind of what we saw on film from them last week and, and things that we've seen previously from that staff. A, a lot of new stuff, new ideas, new, new, uh, new everything, I guess. So mm -hmm. um, I'm confident that throughout the week we'll, we'll have a solid game plan come Saturday. We had a freshman quarterback making his second start. How hugely important is a strong pass rush to kind of get him uncomfortable and, and rattled. Yeah, I think with, with a young quarterback or any quarterback in general to be able to get pressure on him and, and get a couple hits on him early in the game to maybe affect how he plays uh, throughout the entire game is huge and that's something that, that comes down to D lineman is to be able to, to show that pressure and, and add that extra thing that he has to think about when he's playing the whole game. Guys look pretty good on defense. How much do you feel like you guys need to improve? Um, we there's definitely areas that we need to improve. Uh, we didn't have any turnovers last game, did we? So that's something that we pride ourselves on, and that we did really good last year. And so that's something that we'll make sure to, to hit again uh, this week and, and focus on. And that's just through reps of when you're going to thud a dude up, simo punching, or getting a strip here and there, and so that's definitely an area we need to work on, but uh, there's always there's always stuff that we can improve on. So, how much did guys like Damian and Uso help at the tackle spot? Yeah, uh, Damian and Uso, man, they're solid. They're they're great dudes, uh, super reliable up front, and it's awesome to be able to line up next to them because you know that they're going to do their job and, and that they're going to have your back. You guys using that game from two years ago against Tulane with any kind of extra motivation this time around? Um. I'd say there's a little motivation for the, the 2022 kids that did play in that game, but we, our team and, and our players, we set goals early on, and, and Tulane's just another opponent in the way of, of our goals in this journey. So we're, we're super excited to head down there and, and show again what, what we can do.